Okay, I know you've all been asking for me to talk about Obama winning, and I want to do that for you, but I don't know what you want me to say about it. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't want to go overboard and act like it was the greatest moment in the history of greatness and moments, but it was the best thing ever. I mean, what do you, you were there, what do you want? I don't know what my little words could add to a moment that big. And then I also know that there's a whole bunch of you who can't wait to start hating on this moment and tell us how Obama's really just another center-left Democrat who's already appointing a bunch of Clintonians and getting assimilated into a system that's not set up to allow any real change. So from a practical standpoint, this is really just more politics as usual and not such a magical moment at all. And you guys are also totally correct. Both of these things are true. And I think we should all have enough space in our minds to honor how this was a huge transcendent symbolic moment while also seeing the ways in which this was a good but mundane political moment that could turn out well only if we put four years of work into it. The symbolic and the practical both matter in this instance and I don't think we need to treat either one as if it negates the other. We usually think of the word symbolic as meaning less than real and assume that it's petty and superficial to focus too much on the symbolic aspect of any political event. But when it comes to this election and our achievement in breaking down that color barrier, if you'll pardon my 20 year old slang, the symbolic part is mad real. That's a breakthrough that's gonna change our children's 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 sense of what can be real. And I don't think there's anything petty or superficial about cherishing the unbelievable hugeness of that breakthrough. But I am also aware that while for generations to come, he'll be a hero for the next four years. He is our employee. And the biggest mistake we could make right now is to assume that now that we voted him in, our work is done. I once heard Chuck D say that voting is like brushing your teeth in the morning. It's a necessary thing, but it's only the first thing you do to get the day started. It doesn't mean you did a full day's work. And now that we chased out the cavity creeps, our full day's work comes over the next four years when we stay informed and involved in the political process and make sure that the system Obama now represents starts working for us a little bit more than it used to. And when we do our own hands-on work on a local level to make our communities more humane. Electing Obama should make it a little easier to do that job, but it's still our job to do. And that's why I'm hoping we hold on to all the joyous energy that was created by that symbolic moment of electing Obama and channel it into all the practical work that comes after electing Obama. Because we all need to do our part in that day-to-day -day work if we want to make sure that our children's 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 children and are able to take advantage of that gift we just gave them. And I plan to do my part in that work by staying home and making more videos. That is my pledge to you.